Okay, so in our other video about Battleborn batteries, you might have seen that um, we installed them, and we did, obviously. And so what we're going to do is we're going to test how long we can run the AC. Since I'm not an expert on Battleborn batteries, I'm going to let my dad do most of this. But, yeah, we're going to see how long our AC will last. First of all, let's talk about our system. You saw us installed two Battleborn batteries right here. And these are not the two we're going to be running the AC or air conditioner off of. We have set up two battery banks. You can hear the mailman coming. We've set up two batter, uh, battery banks, um, which is a little different from most setups. One is dedicated just to our DC system, and the other is dedicated to our inverter. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so we're going to be taking a dive into this. Yeah, yeah what we have here, this is our old generator. Compartment. We used to carry a 2000 Predator generator in here that we never took out and used because there's just so many restrictions of when and how you can run a generator. So instead, we're using this space now to house a 3000 watt inverter. We have also installed right over here a DC to DC charger, and that plugs into our truck alternator so that we can charge these batteries with a little bit more than you can get off the seven pin. Uh, we have a shutoff and we have a distributor bar up here. Uh, Victron and we've made some modifications to it so that the lights work uh, on it that normally doesn't work unless you buy some other parts we can definitely tell you how to do that if you're interested uh, this has been up and charging if you'll see the batteries are on float and so that brings us to our batteries our batteries and I'll show you a picture right here are housed underneath our bed um, right now we have four Battleborn batteries in this pack. We're actually waiting on a fifth to arrive from Battleborn. It was supposed to have already arrived. Uh, Why did we go with Victron? Uh, there's a few things we were trying to get out of this. One, the reason we wanted an inverter was we are not campers. We're travelers that bring our own accommodations, <laughs> right? <Yep. laughs> and a lot of times we pull over, and if you've seen our videos, we do a lot of Cracker Barrel overnight. So a lot of times. <laughs> we do a lot of pulling over at rest stops to, to attend class because you're in school, or, or I'll join a business meeting, or we'll just have lunch in our camper. And sometimes it's a little warm. So we're needing an air conditioner that would get a, or an inverter that allows us to have air conditioning for an hour or so lunch. And sometimes if it's a little warm, getting to sleep for a few hours before bed, mm -hmm. right? Or yeah. as we're trying to get to sleep. That's all we're going for is three to four hours. Don't know if we'll have it. We'll see. Um, so let's, uh, let's kind of go over the rules because we want to simulate a real world activity, right? Yep. Coming into the right. camper, we have the AC off because we wanted it to be a little warm in here to be realistic. It's been hot and muggy here in North Carolina. I don't have any lights on. We're going to turn a few lights on. But let's go over our rules. Okay. First of all, um, I'm going to go get the waggle. I actually have it over at the house for some reason. Uh, but we're going to plug in the waggle. Uh, we normally keep it in the camper all the time. It will. We're going to plug it into the AC. So it will alert us an actual time when the AC goes out and stops. But I'm also going to be out here cleaning and working on the camper. So that will we'll keep track of time that way. We'll have a start time. Great lights. We're going to turn on some lights. We're going to leave all of our power stuff running that is kind of background power. You know, our uh, um, little, you know, uh, CO2 monitors background here. We're going to keep the TVs plugged in. We're going to keep our, our uh, this is what our King router plugged in or a repeater or whatever you want to call this thing. Because we use it all the time. We use it like a house router. It's what everybody signs on to the internet with. And at the same time... I think we're going to go ahead and keep our, um, this is our travel data to cooks to T-Mobile. It's the best one we found. We have tried probably a dozen different hotspots. This one's amazing. Even in the middle of nowhere, we have been well, and we rarely have to hook up to our WeBoost because we can just use the data right off of this. So we're going to keep it running because we always have it running. We'll keep our air conditioning running. We'll turn on a couple lights and... Uh, we we'll probably won't run the televisions. Uh, they're 12 volt televisions. Uh, but otherwise, it will be whatever kind of background draws we have. I normally have a charger programmed in, um, other battery monitors and lights. And I think we just uh, run the air conditioner with all that running and see how long we get. Yep. Will it be one hour, two hours, maybe three? Maybe five. 
Well, no, it won't be five. <laughs> but it, no, well, once we get the fifth battery in there, according to Battleborn, that'd be positive. They say with the 1500 BTU, expect one hour air conditioning with nothing else running for every 100 amp hours. I don't think that's realistic. I think it's probably closer to 30 to 45 minutes per battery. Yeah. But even though we will have seven batteries in this system, right now we have six, um, only four of them right now are dedicated to the AC. They're all underneath this bed. And if you're wondering about this, uh, this is, uh, I think we've mentioned it in other videos, this is a quilt my uh, wife made that has the states of every state outside of our home state we visited on our first big RV trip. And you can go follow that on your channel, right? We have that videos of that whole trip. Actually, quite a few. It's the Headed West series, I think is what it, you yeah. called it. Yeah. And we've been getting tons of views, so why don't you help us? <laughs> yeah, and comment and Some like, plugs. right? All right, yeah. and we haven't made a video in a few weeks because we've been working on this project. And I've started back in-person school, not online anymore, and it's not fun. It's not fun. You want to go back to traveling and, and virtual school, don't you? Yeah. All right. Well, and, but we do have lots of videos to come. Some of Germany, some of Italy, some of a bunch of video we have from the past. And yes. yeah. Uh, and we have some trips like the trip you and I did, just the two of us to St. Augustine. Yeah. We could also do one based on a trip we haven't done yet. The, oh, the. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's. The, you know, yeah. Yeah. You want to go there. And the maybe we'll, we'll, we'll do that in a, maybe a week or two. We'll head out that way. Yeah. All right. So. Um, Let's go flip on, let's unplug, because we're plugged in now. Let's check what the temperature is supposed to be. A, it's supposed to be hot and muggy, and let's just run the AC. We'll see what happens. And yep. for the people watching the video, this will be really quick. For us, um, hopefully it's a long time. <laughs> All right. All right, we're going to plug in the waggle, and then we can start. Just so you know, I'll plug this into the AC, and then it alerts us when the power's out. If you have dogs, I recommend, or any kind of pet, or... Maybe you just lock your children up in your RV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I recommend this. Um, we have it and this one called a temp stick. Uh, this one, the temp stick works off Wi-Fi. And so if your power goes out and your Wi-Fi goes out, it doesn't last very long and it runs off batteries. This one has a built-in battery. It won't last about a week when you unplug it. Um, but And it will give you alerts by both text over cellular service uh, or otherwise, and it also will send you emails telling you um, if the temperature gets out of a certain range, and it will tell you if um, you lose power. That's very, very handy, and uh, it'll let us know when the AC stops on this. Oh, by the way, um, because I do recommend this one, I will include a link below where you can order a waggle if you want one. Uh, full disclosure, um, we do get something if you order off that link. Uh, I can't remember what it is. Uh, but I definitely want you to know that. I'm recommending it not because of that. Go order it somewhere else if you want. But if you want, click on the link below. Uh, we do get something in return for Beckett, that. Um, it's 12.03. We just checked the weather. It's, it says it's 89 degrees, but feels like 96. It is yeah. awfully humid. Um, we, the air conditioner's been off for a while, so it's a little warm inside the camper. Um, and um, it's supposed to get to 93 today. It's been getting way hotter than that, so we were trying to do it on the hottest day, but hey, we... We got it when we got it, right? Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug this thing. I hope I can do it one-handed. We'll just kind of load this over here on the bumper. And then we're gonna walk over here to, um, our inverter just kicked on. So we just heard it. I'm going to go in and turn on the air conditioning right now. It's 12.03. So we now, I said you heard it click. It clicks immediately to inverter which is one of the things we like because if you do have a power outage, let's say you have your pets inside or something, the inverter comes on immediately. It's like having a backup generator, uh, which is very handy. All right, it's still 12.03. I just flipped this off because I used my cell phone because we have in command to turn on the air conditioning. It should be kicking on because it's actually warm inside and we have it set to 72 degrees. So that's what it will cool it off to in theory yep. if it's working. It's 12.07. Uh, we, you saw us turn this on. You saw us turn off the convert. It wasn't working. We couldn't figure out why. So we're like, oh, we did something wrong. Well, I had turned off the battery. <laughs> All right. So let's turn on. There we go. Battery's on. Yeah, fist bump. There goes the AC. We can hear it now. So we're going to start the clock at 12.07, though. So that's easy. Well, AC's running. Feels good to be right under it. Yeah. Um... So, 
What are we gonna do, bud? Um, wait. Probably have some wait. lunch. Come back. We got our waggles going. Yeah, let's go eat lunch. We gotta weed eat. We gotta mow the yard. We gotta do some cleaning. We gotta play with the dogs. Gotta play some bull torp flip. And at some point in there, these batteries will run out. We're also gonna clean on the camper. So, and I'm gonna actually recock the camper today. So we've got a lot to do. So let's uh, let's figure out. By the way, I, are, is your bed made? Your camper no. bed? Ah, all right. Yeah. It's like it's semi. You, you just pull the curtain. That's how you make your bed. This is a current theme. You know, I make it for you once in a while. Never stays up. Anyway, let's. Uh, we got lights on. We've got stuff on. Let's go eat lunch. Yep. Okay, we're coming up on two hours. The air is so hot and humid today that if the air is running nonstop, it hasn't had a chance to come out, which means the inverter has been running hard non-stop we're sitting at coming up on two hours of running non-stop ac hasn't missed a lick so far i think we're just going to get about two and a half hours maybe two hours 15 minutes uh, is my bet right now way shy of the four hours battleborn would have predicted based on their little info uh, but i think that's ideal conditions and we're definitely not in ideal conditions enough for lunch Absolutely. Enough to cool it off to go to bed? Absolutely. Enough, enough to run overnight if it's 90-something degrees all night long? That's about 94 right now? No. Definitely not. You get three or four hours maybe once we throw that other battery in there. So in four batteries, really hot, humid day. Yeah, I think you're going to look at about two and a half hours, but we'll see. We'll, we'll keep watching the clock. All right. Well, air conditioner just stopped a little over two hours and 34 minutes. As you can see, we're getting a low battery. It's still inverting, but it's too low to run the air conditioner. So at this point, we're going to plug her back in. And we're going to say two hours, 34 minutes on a very hot, humid day for a four Battleborn batteries, 1500 BTU setup. So anyway, it's so hot out here. I'm just sweating doing this. Let's see if this gets it. Power's now back in there. It should now switch over to charging. The air automatically comes on. And we're now charging. All right, two hours, 34 minutes is our answer. All right, so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. We're, uh, by the way, you're just filming this with the iPhone, right? So, yeah. so you see it shake it or anything, yeah. Uh, all right, so we got, how long do we get? It's like two hours, 34 minutes, and I actually forgot the seconds. Yeah, it's like 47 seconds. I think I said that outside just a second ago. Um, I got a lot done while we were waiting for the AC to run out. Yeah. Cleaned up, emptied the tanks, cleaned up the fresh water tank, did some other work, cleaned up around the house. So, uh, didn't get to weeding, but uh, we can hear the air running down. We're in, it's a hot day. Two hours, 34 minutes. This, that, that's on four batteries. We're going to have five. And keep in mind, we actually have seven in here. We have two on the Just DC, and we can talk about why we did that. That's a strange choice, but uh, but we did do that for a reason. It suits our needs, not everybody. But if someone had four batteries, two hours, 34 minutes, on a day where the AC has to run nonstop, it never stopped that whole time. Kept it cool, but it was running the whole time. I, I paused a couple times for a second or two, but it's hot and humid. What, um, disappointing, excited? Oh, I, it lasted longer than I actually thought it would. Ah. It lasted, lasted two hours, but it lasted a little bit farther than that, so. Yeah, that's good. I was actually, you know, there's some videos of people doing this online where they claim to get a little over an hour of battery. I knew that wasn't true, unless they turned off everything, every parasitic thing, and you know, they're running it on a cool day. Just not possible. Battleborn has a video out there they say expect, um... And wait, ironically, my phone's running out of batteries. All right, so my phone was running out of batteries. I don't know if that did anything here. But um, so it lasted about as long as my phone. But, uh, you know, Battleborn did this thing said about an hour of battery. I knew that wasn't right, but I really hoped to kind of get close to it. I was hoping to get like three and a half hours or something. Uh, but with two hours, 34 minutes or whatever it was, with four, I think when we add the fifth one in there, we'll be getting probably over three hours yeah oh yeah and i think if we were at uh you know our normal lunch stops that's plenty 
um, to cool off at most of the time when we're staying the night somewhere it gets kind of cool after about 1 or 2 a.m. I think that'd be plenty to get us there and if it's a little cooler and it's not in the middle of the day and, and it's not having to run non-stop you might get seven eight hours out of that I don't think it's for somebody who wants to boondock and replace their generator. Uh, it's not going to work. It's, not, it's just not going to work. But if you're like us and you just want AC while you're on the road so you can stop, maybe you're you're going in somewhere and your dog has to stay in the camper, or you're or you're gonna I'm gonna take like we stopped at Bucky's at one time. I took a nap while y'all hung out at Bucky's and got kolaches. That was fun. That um, or that rest stop we always like start stop at in Georgia for a couple hours, right? Yeah. It's perfect for that. Is it worth the cost for that? Well, I think personally, I think it's a little much, but I think at least it works. But it's, it's this great. is what we like to do. Yeah. So, yeah. If it's, it's worth my money, I feel like it could be a little bit less. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, my money, it's the same thing. It's our money, right? Family money. Yeah, it, it's a big expense. It's not going to be worth it for most people. Um, a generator is cheaper. Yeah. Right. Just get a generator. You know, you can spend you know five hundred bucks for one of those Predators, at, or you can spend a thousand and get the Honda. Put the Easy Start on. You're easy to, and you're and you can go all day. Our problem is, we've been carrying a generator, two generators actually, all over the country. We've never taken them out and used them because all, everywhere we're at, either it's somewhere where you can't take it out, a parking lot or something like that, or it would be a pain to take it out. Or they have quiet hours and you just can't it's just the generator unless you're in a BLM land situation or something just you can't use it most of the time but if you're somebody who like goes to like national parks and time like blue docks I think a generator would be actually be pretty good no no I, I've been we're gonna carry it always right yeah but this gives us flexibility when you can't use the generator yeah if you're somebody who stops and crack and barrels a lot like us then you're gonna like this yeah it cools it off before you go to bed uh, lunch breaks on the road, which we do a lot, they make it, okay. give you a little cool. Yeah. Though in fairness, this camper stays pretty cool in the middle of the day when you're driving it. I mean, Not yeah. when it sits, but when it's driving. Um, so, anyway, it, I'm glad we did it. Um, also, the other thing I didn't mention is everything else in here runs pretty much on 12 volt anyway. Exception being the microwave, which we can run on that. I definitely could make popcorn or something with no problem. And we have our uh, fireplace, which puts out a little electrical heat that we like to have on when it's kind of nippy. It'll be good for that. So, anyway, I'm happy. We'll throw that other battery in here when Battleborn gets it to us. We oh, pros and cons of Battleborn. Oh yeah. Yeah. So... Yeah. I, first of all, I used to say they're expensive, but they've actually always have sales right now, and I think they cost just the same as. You know, I, I see the prices people are getting on the Lion batteries at Costco, which is a good battery, or the Renogy sales. I think Battleborn's in the same price range right now. Yeah. Um, another pro to them is if you order your Victron parts, they'll go ahead and program it for Battleborn batteries. It's not hard to do, but it saves you that step. Um, their customer service is great. You call them, they're great. Yeah, they're very nice. Yeah, they answer the phone. And, and in full disclosure, we're not paid by Battleborn or anything, are we? No, but I wish. but please sponsor us. Yeah, yeah, please sponsor. But they did send us after our last video some shirts and stuff. They saw that and they reached out to us and they sent us some shirts. So you know, but we're gonna be honest regardless, right? Yeah, yeah. Please, please we, we love Battleborn sponsoring <laughs> the, the other thing though is we did have a couple problems. They we or, the Easy Start came and it didn't have all the little parts yeah. with it. Uh, including even just the little, there's supposed to be like a sticky pad so you can stick it somewhere. It didn't even have that. It didn't have um, a lot of the, anything with it, quite frankly. I, I think they had repackaged it and it, it, very disappointing. It kind of ruined the whole Saturday for us that we had set aside to install this system because we had to go get those parts and it took half the day to figure out what to do. Um, and then they've messed, they, we've ordered several things from them, never had a problem until this last battery. Uh, we ordered it. We got notice of processing. A week went by. Never got the FedEx shipping. I emailed them, asked for a status update. Never heard back from the email. I finally called them Friday morning. They said, oh, we're sorry. That's going in the mail today. You'll get your FedEx number today. That was yesterday. We're sitting here on a Saturday. No FedEx number. It didn't ship. 
Um, we finally had to close up the box and we ran our test without our fifth battery. And uh, quite frankly, disappointing Battleborn, but still recommend buy. Still, yeah, it's a great product. I would recommend. Yeah. But there are some issues. Just be warned. Yeah, yeah. It maybe it maybe maybe that was a rarity, you know. But uh, we'll find out. We have ordered. That's the only problems we've had is those two problems, and we've ordered all that stuff. All right. So, um, one last question for you. Yeah. Um, you kind of moved out of our house this year well, because you stay in the camper I almost every night. More. I did a lot a few weeks ago, but now I'm pretty much. You're back in the house. You, you're moved back home. Yeah, I changed. All right. And then this morning you asked me if uh, we could just go full-time RVing. Well, it'd be fun. I like vertical school better, but I'm, like, in person. And I feel like it'd be fun going to places. Yeah, it'd be fun. Yeah. Well, we go a lot. I don't go full, full-time or anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> it's terribly when in a couple of years we make a video called... We went broke when we tried to go. <laughs> we went broke going. I think we're going broke going part time. <laughs> As a, and we've been trying to get back into the Keys, uh, Blue Water Key and Sunshine Key and Fort Wilderness. Yeah, we've been spring. we've been trying every single day for months now, and they're full. There's just yeah. it's it's. And last year we had no trouble getting in. Uh, so we we don't know what we're gonna do. We had planned to go to Maine and up to uh, Newfoundland. Uh, this oh, year. Yeah, don't forget our, our planned trip to France. Yeah, that's a long. Oh, we'll save that one. That's going to be a cool, cool story. But uh, yeah, we're going to RV to France. There's a way to do it. We were going to do it. Yeah, uh, uh, I guess a spoiler alert. You go to Newfoundland. You take the ferry to Newfoundland. Then there's a pedestrian ferry you can take over to a small island that's still part of France. You just said you yeah, to I know, but I, I couldn't. Like, yeah. We we had that plan, but because of COVID, it just couldn't happen. So maybe next summer we can do that. Also, pro tip to everyone out there, still wear a mask. Still wear a mask. All right. till we get out of this, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess that's the video. Anything else? Uh, no, not really. Well, make sure to subscribe. Yeah. 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 Is that your Yellowstone shirt? Yeah. Yeah. People need to go watch the Yellowstone video. Yeah, yeah. Watch that. Yeah. There, there, whatever it is. Yeah, we're somewhere and, uh, up there. Also, um, yeah. watch the dog video. Yeah. Thanks for watching, Tree Talker fam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right.